Hi, I'm Adam, and I'm here to show you around the new Vauxhall Crossland. As part of the refreshed design, the new Crossland incorporates the new Vauxhall visor. This integrates the new grille, LED headlights, and new Vauxhall Griffin logo, making a bold and stylish statement. Today, I'm gonna to run through some of the essential features and functions of this fantastic looking new Crossland, so that you can really make the most of the car. First, you've got the key. You'll notice there are three buttons, to lock and unlock the car, and to unlock the boots. Some versions of the Crossland are also fitted with keyless entry. Just keep the key in your pocket or bag, walk up to the car, place your hand on the door handle, and the car will unlock automatically. And unlocking the boot works in the same way. Once inside the car, the central locking system can be preset on the infotainment system menu to just unlock the driver's door. You can lock and unlock the central locking system by pressing this button here on the dashboard. To start the engine on your Crossland, simply use the key like this. If your Crossland has keyless entry and start, you'll find a start-stop button here to the left of the steering wheel. It means you don't have to use the key to start the car. If you have an automatic Crossland, you'll need to put your foot on the brake pedal before the car will start. It's important to be nice and comfortable when driving, and many new Crossland models have driver's seats that have been ergonomically designed in conjunction with the Campaign for Healthier Backs to make sure you're nice and comfortable. Some versions of the Crossland also have electric seat tilt adjustment operated via this switch on the side of the seat. Some also have extendable under thigh support operated just by pulling this lever at the front of the seat. Four way lumbar adjustment is also included. You can adjust support for your back like this. The seat can slide backwards and forwards by simply pulling this lever at the front of the seat. Meanwhile, the backrest can be adjusted by using the wheel on the side of the seat here, and the seat height can be changed by either pulling up or down on the lever here. The Crossland steering wheel can be adjusted both in and out and up and down. Simply reach under the steering column and pull the lever down, adjust the steering wheel to your preferred position, and then push the lever back up again to secure it. For safety reasons, you should only do this while parked. The electric door mirrors can be adjusted using the controls on the driver's door here. Simply use this switch to select which mirror you'd like to adjust and then use these controls to adjust the mirror left, right, up or down. The headlight controls are located to the right of the steering wheel. Turn the dial right once for the side lights and right again for full headlights. Alternatively, the headlights on the Crossland can be set to the auto position, meaning you can set and forget as the headlights activate automatically according to light conditions. Within the light style, you'll also find the buttons for the fog lights. The main beam for the headlights can be switched on and off using the left-hand steering wheel stalk, like this. Some versions of the Crossland have automatic high beam control, meaning that the headlights dip automatically. To switch this function on and off, simply press this button on the left-hand steering wheel stalk. Depending on the model, you'll either have a 7-inch or 8-inch colour touchscreen like this one. For full details of both infotainment systems and tutorial videos, please visit the Vauxhall website, the Vauxhall YouTube channel or your MyVauxhall account. Using the infotainment system buttons on the dash here, you can connect your mobile phone using Bluetooth, you can access the sat-nav and stereo controls, and you can also adjust many of your car's onboard systems. Moving from the front to the back of the car, it's really easy to fold the rear seats down for extra space if you need it. Just pull the tab here and the seat will fold down. Another tab on the other side folds down the remaining rear seat. Some versions of the Crossland are fitted with the versatility pack for ultimate family flexibility. As well as a center rear armrest, it enables the rear seat to slide backwards and forwards using a lever here. That enables you to have more boot space or more legroom, depending on your needs. The versatility pack also gives you the brilliant flex floor function, which gives you an underfloor divider. 
which is great for keeping shopping or coats separate from those muddy boots. The new Crossland has two Isofix mounting points for fitting child seats on the outer rear seats. They can be easily located with these helpful markers on the seats here. If carrying children, the child door locks can be activated by a button just in front of the gear lever. Further underlining the Crossland's flexibility, many models have these helpful storage pockets in the back of the front seats. To open the Crossland's bonnet, just pull this handle here in the front passenger footwell and the bonnet will pop open. Then moving to the front of the car, you'll find a latch just above the gripping badge to open the bonnet. Once the bonnet is up, the windscreen washer fluid can be topped up here. A handy reminder is the picture of the windscreen on the top of the reservoir lid. Whilst the bonnet is open, if you need to check the oil level of your new Crossland, the dipstick is handily located here at the front of the engine. Whilst the location of the dipstick can change depending on which model of the Crossland you're driving, it can be easily spotted due to its bright colour. To refuel your Crossland, the fuel flap is located here on the passenger side of the vehicle. It locks and unlocks via the central locking system and can be opened by a simple press on the right hand side of the flap. And a small hook is on the filler flap to keep the cap out of the way. On diesel engine versions of the Crossland, you will find a second smaller filler pipe with a blue cap here for refilling the AdBlue system. Moving on to the boot, the boot can be opened using the remote button on the key. Or if your car has keyless entry, it will unlock automatically. To do so, simply press the button underneath the Vauxhall badge. Inside the boot, you'll find plenty of space with up to 520 litres with the rear seats slid forward. If you've opted for a spare wheel, you'll find it underneath here. Alternatively, you'll have a tyre inflation kit like this one. That's it for this video. For more helpful owner's information, you can check out our new Crossland driver tools and gadgets video. You can find more videos on your infotainment system via the Vauxhall website, via the Vauxhall YouTube channel, or via your MyVauxhall account. I hope you enjoy your new Crossland.